Hello, this is Fabian with MicroCenter 191, Overland Park, Kansas. Today, I am going to be showing you how to make a bootable USB. I have this USB for the illustration. As you can see, it is drive F. And the way we're going to make it bootable is simply by going to this website, pendrivelinux.com. When you get to their home page, you're going to see a lot of nifty tools which you can download. There's this universal USB installer. And the one we're going to be using today, which I think you'll find a little bit more beneficial, is going to be this one that says boot from multiple ISOs. We want to click on that. And this is the tool that you will be using in order to make your USB bootable. Now the difference between this tool and other tools that they have on the same website is this one, as you can see from the illustration, allows you to add more than one image on that same USB. What that means is that you can add different images or tools which you can boot from. So at this point what we're going to do is download the tool, save it to a preferred location, Windows 7 users as you can tell your default location is usually the downloads directory. We'll go ahead and save it. And it usually doesn't take long. We'll go ahead and run it. If you get a prompt to allow the uh, tool to run, go ahead and hit allow or run. At, at this stage, what you want to do is go through the licensing. Hit agree. We're going to select the drive. As you can recall, it was drive F. Now, if you get different drives on this drop down, make sure that you're selecting the correct one for the simple reason that this tool, what it's going to do is it's going to format the drive or USB that you choose from the drop down and it's going to format it. As you can see, step number two, step number two allows you to select from different images or tools which you can add to your USB. And there's a lot of good tools in here. If you don't have the tools, the good thing about this software is Let's say we want to use MemTest, which is a tool for testing memory on a system. We can choose the download. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask us if we want to download it on the fly. And we're going to choose yes, since it's a small package. Small download. We're going to save it. And again, we're going to save it to the default location, which is Downloads. Save. And we do not want to open this since it's going to be opened by the software that we're using anyway. As you can see, the package is not located yet. We want to go ahead and locate it for the software. And since we know it's in the default location of downloads, here it is. We'll double click on it and it turns green, which means that this matches the tool that it's looking for. We'll go ahead and create. And it wants to make sure that uh, we want to format and create a bootable USB from drive F. We'll click yes. It's asking, are you sure? 
please confirm at this point there's no turning back I'm about to format drive F is this your USB device it sure is we'll click yes it formatted the drive it added the image installation is done process is complete we'll hit next and it's asking us whether we want to add another ISO another image or another distribution uh, usually I'll hit yes if I want to add a different uh, image or software but we're gonna hit no just for the sake of this video and once we're done adding any images that we want to the USB it's gonna take us to the final screen which says that we're all done which is pretty easy we'll hit finish and what we want to do is uh, go ahead and test it in one one of the systems so power down one of your systems completely or restart it and upon restarting before the system boots you should get a prompt that says hit the certain function key depending on your system uh, usually it'll be F12, F10, F9, depending on your system, and it'll say something to the effect uh, boot from another device. Uh, or you can go into your BIOS and change the order of the boot devices and make the primary your boot device to be USB and leave the flash drive in that computer and next thing you'll know you'll be booting onto that illustration which I showed you earlier and it's gonna look like this and you'll be able to run an image off of your USB which you've just made bootable thank you that concludes this tutorial